Hello everybody. So with this Wukong board, expansion board for the microbit, I'm going to play with some servos. Now first we're going to start with 360 servos. They're in 60 degree servos. They're actually two different kinds. That'll be in a minute. So servos basically turn to an angle and stay there until you tell it to turn to another angle. What I mean by there's two different kinds of 360s. Well, 360s mean that they should understand numbers from 0 to 360. So if you want to turn to 45, it can turn to 45. If you want to turn to 200, it can turn to 200. If you want to turn to 320, it can turn to 320. There is actually a 360 continuous rotation servo, and they just call them 360s. We try and call them continuous so, you underst so we understand what it's going to do. A continuous rotation servo is going to spin kind of like a motor. And the first half of the numbers that, it is, that you give it, um, like if it's a 360 continuous, 0 to 179 are going to be one direction. And the closer you get to 180, halfway, it's going to slow down. And then 181 to 360 is going to spin the other direction. But again, the closer you are to 180, which is stop, the slower you're going to go. That's a continuous rotation servo. A lot of places just call them all 360s, um, but you gotta, you got to pay attention to that. So these are two different ones. This, gray, this one here, this gray one, let's stay in camera, is a, a 360 where it's just an angle. This orange one is a 360, um, and they're both by Geek Servos, these two. Um, is a 360 continuous. So I'll let you see what the, the different, no, the same numbers do for us. So here is our Wukong expansion board. Now it's got special places to plug in the servos because servos need five volts or want to operate best at five volts. So these pins all do five volts and it's got them labeled S0 through S7. It's going to deal with servos a little bit differently than other than just basic servo um, pins just using the basic pins and saying hey it's a servo do something um, it runs it a little differently and it has code to make it understand better what we want it to do so I just got them plugged in what you have to pay attention to is there's ground voltage and signal and you gotta make sure you plug them in the right way usually red is power red is voltage and brown is ground or black is ground and then orange or yellow tend to be um, signal and signal is the, is the data we want to go. So here are these two. I keep, I keep going the wrong direction. And now I'm going to go over the code. So let's go to make code. And let's go in here. And it's the Wukong board. And the Wukong board has extension. Has an extension that we have to search for. And part of that is for the servos because it handles servos differently. So here's the Wukong board, and here is servos. It also does something with lights, and it's got motors, and it's got servos. So here's our servo code. I'm going go to go to, uh, on start. And here's the thing. I could have 180 servos, 270 servos, or 360 servos. How the, again, this does it differently is that it says, hey, it lets you tell it. It's a 360 servo. And you got to tell it where it's at. So one of them is at uh, on pin zero. The other one I have on pin 7. And I'm going to tell it 180 because I know that's the continuous rotation servo and 180 means stopped. S0 should mean, hey, so let's start at 0. Uh, now we're going to use uh, button presses. So I'm just going to use, it's the same block. Um, we're telling it's a 360 and I want to set the first one. Um, I don't know, angle 150. Okay. And then that second one, which I know is the continuous, I'm going to tell it zero. That should be full speed one direction. And then I'm going to do on button B, I'm going to take my first one and I'm going to just make it go to 320. Because a lot of people just use the servos that only go to zero to 180. So now we, you know, there's more and more availability. Like these are like seven and ten dollars. Servers run between two and twenty dollars, if not more, uh, based on precision and um, quality, basically. 
um, and how they connect. Like these can connect to Legos, where other servos you got to do something to connect them to um, something. Uh, so, and then that zero, I'm going to make be 360. Or let's just make it be 300. Or let's make it be 320. Uh, see what the same number does to them differently. All right, so. All right, now let's see. I should be connected. Yes, I am connected, so I'm going to download it. And then I'm going to pop over to the webcam. And then I'm going to press button A. And nothing happened. Did it not download? Let's see here. Download. It says it downloaded. Oh, I know what I know what didn't happen. I didn't do something right. All right. It needs five volt power. So I need to turn on the board. So those pins will get five volt power. Now we can do things. All right, there we go. That was just resetting that one to zero. And then we got this one. All right, I'm gonna try and keep it up right. All right, now I'm gonna press it. They need five volts. And that's why you wanna look for expansion boards that can do five volts. And they weren't doing anything because I hadn't turned on the board to get the five volts. The micro bit was getting power. The three volt pins were getting power. The five volt pins were not. So I'm gonna press A. And that went there. Did I not change? I didn't, did I? Uh, zero should have made it spin. Why are we not spinning? It was before. What have I done wrong? I'm on set. Oh, no, I'm not on seven. Oh, that's the problem. I am on, I'm plugged into six, so let's plug into seven. Oh my gosh, that would be really important. Let's start all over again. Okay, you gotta make sure you are plugged into the pin you tell it to. All right, so there is that one. Here is this one. All righty, so, oh my gosh. Press A, and we're spinning one direction. That one went to a certain angle. Boom, stayed there. Now I'm going to press B. This one should go to a different angle, and this one should go the opposite direction. Now, these two just got the same number. They both got the number 320. But because that's an angle servo and that's a continuous rotation servo, they do different things. So you got to pay attention to what you get. Um, angle servos go to an angle. You have a choices between one, ones that understand up to 180, ones that understand 270, and ones that understand 360. In continuous rotation, it's the middle of the numbers is stop. One end is one direction, one end is the other direction. Because um, here's, here's an interesting thing. If I have, a, if I try to use re the regular uh, pins for uh, this, Let's use my regular standard servo pins, which only understand 180. What did I just write? That does not look like 180 to you. Interesting. Looks like one. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. I'm looking up. I'm looking upside down. Um, and then let's say you have a 270. Well, we'll do that in a minute. We'll do out the 270 servos. So there's 360. Um, but let's say I put a three was using other pins and I had a 360 servo and I told it to go to 180 it would not go to 180 on the standard pins I'll tell you what the standard pins are if I had plugged it into the regular pins and used that code that only understands up to 180 I didn't plug it into servo pins. I plugged it into regular pins and said, hey, this is a servo. Um, so say I took the 360 and plugged it into the regular pins, and then I said, hey, go to 180. It's not going to go to 180. It's going to go all the way because 0 to 180 is all the way, so it's going to go to 360. If I tell it to go to 90, it would go to 180. 
Let's see if I can make that happen. Let's stop you. And let's pull this off here. Let's plug it into zero. All right, get you out of the way. Get you here. Uh, get off the webcam. And let's say servo right pin on pin zero to 180. And servo right pin to 90. And let's make sure I set it to zero at the beginning. I like to initialize things. All right. We're going to download. Yay. See how boom. Okay, so it went to zero. Now, those pins have power because they're three volt pins and they're, you know, getting some power. Now, I'm going to press A. Now, that went all the way to 360. Even, no, because you can't, because I'm not on camera. Sorry about that. All right, let's do this again. All right. So it's plugged into these three volt pins and it's getting power through the uh, through the micro bit. Now I just turned it on. All right. So it went to zero. Now if I press A, again, our code said 180. And it went all the way around to 360. Well, that's because it's thinking I want to go all the way. And the servo understands all the way is 360. Now if I press B, it went halfway because I had put in 90 and 90 on the 180 scale is halfway. So halfway on the 360 scale is um, 180. So you want to pay attention to what servos you got. Those regular pins, servo pins um, are zero to 180. It's these special ones that can help you work with 270 and 360s. So try that sometime. Hope I didn't confuse you.